All right. So, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. This is Alan Burgos from the hashtag Walk With Land channel. Welcome and welcome back to our channel. So this time around, um, uh, it's another content. No, I hope you are doing okay. And um, please do subscribe on my channel and I won't be shy uh, in telling you that uh, by subscribing to my channel, you are uh, one part of the community, one part of the family, and therefore, okay, uh, you help me in sustaining the, the channel. All right, so without much further ado, we will be, I will be sharing to you the topic that we will be discussing for today, and that is about stocks. No? Yes, okay. Um, since you know already, uh, by the way, I, I want to introduce myself. Uh, I'm Alan Burgos, a financial advisor, and at the same time, a professor, aside from being a YouTuber. But I would be sharing to you, uh, from time to time, we will be reviewing some stocks no, or stock here in the Philippines. So right now, I will be sharing to you uh, one stock no, um, that I'm interested in. Uh, and, and majority, maybe majority of this uh, no, are interested also. No? This company is no other than GMA Network. No? Okay? GMA Network. So GMA, ito siya. Uh, I'm using the, ano, ha, the Simply Wall Street. Okay? So this, this particular company, if you subscribe to them, okay, uh, you will help, uh, uh, by subscribing to them, you can be able to see no, uh, some stocks no, uh, around the world, okay? So I added this one already to my watch list. And, and all right, this one, this is the last price, no? Um, last uh, Wednesday, last Wednesday of 2022. What's the date of that day? Uh, April 13, no? April 13, Wednesday. The last price was 15.92 per share, no? Okay, uh, the market capital is 53.6 billion. Okay, now uh, for the last seven days, ano siya? Um, walang kinita, no? I mean, uh, if, you're, if you invested uh, seven days ago, uh, ano siya? Um, parang bawi lang, no? Ganun, something like that. Okay, now, pero if you invested a year ago, okay, it earned you 74.2% already you know? so if you invested 1 million pesos my dear friends okay if you invested 1 million pesos my dear friends okay you earn already 70 uh, 740,000 pesos something like that okay yeah okay all right now um ganda nito ano eh simply wall street eh. okay uh, to, um, GMA Network, guys, uh, this is one of the channels, no? especially noong nawala ng franchise C, especially when uh, ABS-CBN lose their franchise. No? Talagang uh, GMA 7 okay, uh, was, uh, became number one. No? And uh, especially right now, because of the advertisements in politics, okay? the political... Uh, uh, let we all know that uh, we are into a political season right now, right? Yeah. Okay. Now, one of the rewards when you invest on this particular company is their trading. No, uh, I mean, um, the, the fair value later we will discuss that. Uh, the fair value is quite cheaper. No, I mean, the value itself is quite cheaper compared to the uh, estimate. No. Okay, to the estimate. All right. So earnings have grown 24.8% per year over the last five years. Um, one of the least involved here is the dividend of 9.11% is not well covered by earnings. Pero no, 9.11%, guys, no, per earn. Per, I mean, aside from the um, capital appreciation, okay, you have the chance also to earn dividends. So, wow, no? Talagang. This is a great company, no? Ayan. Okay, so when we see this one, meron silang parang andito eh, uh, snowflake analysis, no? So when we have the valuation, yan, 
four out of six, no? Later, uh, ano yan, meron yan. Later, we, we can be able to see that one. Okay, dividends naman, uh, four out of six dividends. Okay, for the health, financial health, that is six out of six, no? So this is okay. Does the company have a strong financial health and manageable debt? Wow, wow, galeng. And uh, the past, all right, uh, five out of six, okay? And the future also, wow, why is it that uh, it's zero out of six? Anyway, let's uh, move forward, okay? This is the price history, <clears throat> okay? The price history, uh, when we have the max here, okay, let's have the max. Okay, so when you, in, for example, uh, they started 2007 at 10 pesos. Okay, but this time around, it's it's 14 na, 14, 15 pesos, no? 15 pesos, okay? Now, if it's one month, okay, you earn, you earn na in, in one month time, no? Uh, if you invested one month ago. Three months ago, ganun din, okay? A year ago, all right, ganun din, no? It, it's the same thing. You earned now, no? If you invested a year ago. For example, you invested 1 million, okay? Most likely you earned, no? Kasi la, um, a year ago, uh, the the share price, uh, the stocks, no? The price per share, okay? Is 8.88 .88 only, no? But this time around, it's 15 point, aside from the dividends as well, no? Three years, wow, uh, uh, when you invested three years ago, that was 5.19 pesos only, now 15 pesos. So you may more or less you earn 10 pesos per share. So if you have 1 million shares, no? So you just do the computation. Okay? Now five years, oh, the same thing, no? You earned a lot if you invested five years ago. All right? So, ayan, uh, 2007, they started 2007. Anyway. Okay, so what's the recent news for this one? Upcoming dividends, one peso per share. One point uh, peso, one, one peso and 45 centavos per share. But uh, the payment date would be on May 17. But uh, you need to invest, uh, buy a share or shares, uh, buy shares before April 20. No, April 20, that would be Wednesday next week. Okay? May, April 20, uh, you buy 20, uh, uh, yeah, April 20, Wednesday. Okay? Yeah. All right, now, before before that date, you need, you need to be able to invest already or uh, buy the share, buy the shares of, of GMA. The payment date of that is May 17, 2022. Okay? The payout ratio and cash payment payout ratio are on the higher end of 81% and 79% respectively. No? So, yun. Trailing yield, 9.2%. Wow. Galing, ha? Yield. Meaning to say that would be 1 peso and 45 and 15. That would be 9%. Nga, no? One, oh, something like that. 1.45. 15 pesos. More or less 9.2. Within top quartile of Philippine dividend payers for, for higher than average of industry peers. So this is a great company. Aside from that, um, full year or 2021 earnings release. No, that's why talaga maganda yung ano no? yung, yung GMA no because um yun, because of that because of these numbers. Okay. Yeah. Now we have these uh updates though, but the uh, April 13 and April 12, this would uh, ito yung recent news or latest news nila with regards to the to their company. All right. See more updates. Tignan nga natin yung updates. Marami pa eh, no? Pero we're not concerned of that already, no? We're concerned of the of of this month, no? Ito yon. Yung yung upcoming dividend nila. All right? Upcoming dividend. All right. Now, we mean price book volatility, no? Uh yeah, nasa gitna lang, no? Halos nasa gitna lang. Average lang, average movement, no? Yung GMA7. Okay, so okay lang. Talagang steady lang, eh, no? Huh? Steady lang. Si shareholder returns, okay? Ayan, seven days nga, no? Per one year, 74.2%, no? Yung pH media, ah, huh? talo pa sila, no? Last seven days, 47.8, no? pH market, 
0.772%. Tignan nyo. If you invested no, a year ago sa GMA7, maalam nyo, matagal ko na itong tinatarget eh, itong GMA7 eh. Kaya lang, uh, wala pang opportunity eh. No? Pero, uh, we'll be investing here uh, April 30. No? So, tinitignan ko lang talaga eh. Tinitignan ko kung saan pa, kailan pa ako papasok. Siguro, papasok ako um, dito, tignan natin yung one month. Uh, tignan natin kung kaya pa ng 1478 or 1475. Okay, so right now, 1592. So more or less, more than 1 peso ang ibababa dapat. No? So, bumaba dapat siya. Ha? Kung, kung ano naman, um, okay, pwedeng dito, pangalawang papasok ako dito. Yan. And then third siguro dito. Third. Okay? Yan. Hmm, tama. Third, fourth, fifth, sixth, ah, seven. O, kung, kung ano, basta one of these numbers. Titignan ko, abangan ko yan. So siguro basically, papasok na yung pera dyan. Uh, Makapag-invest na ako by, by, ano na, uh, by May na siguro. No? May. Kasi ganun ganun ako magano eh. Ha? All right, anyway. Ayun. Ah, all right. Um Okay, so return versus market. Uh GMA exceeded the PH market which returned 7.5% over the past year, no? So, Biro mo, 7.5% lang ang inner ng ng Philippine market, no? So, Okay, now, uh, pero uh, it exceeded no the Philippine market GMA seven. So galeng return versus industry yung ano industry na yan, um, which uh, no uh, exceeded the Philippine media industry. Kaya magaling no. Yeah, so stable share price GMA seven is less volatile than seventy five percent of Philippine stocks over the past three months. Typically moving four percent a week, no. So, ano lang, steady lang, plus plus minus four. So you can be able to, ano, um, you can be able to predict talaga, no. Anyway, a pattern, pattern. All right, about the company, no. This was founded, uh, 1950, no. Uh, employees nila, uh, their employees, uh, totaling to 2,821. Okay, this is their website. Their CEO is Attorney Philippe Gosson. Okay, talagang uh, GMA Network Incorporated together with its subsidiaries primarily engages in... Ano rin sila, they have also a radio television. No? Um, one of their anchors, yung former vice president nila, si... Um, uh, si sino ba ta? <laughs> si Mike Enriquez. No? Ayan. Okay. Tingnan natin yung show more. Yan, ito, this RD, you know. They have 92 TV stations. Wow. 23 radio stations, no? So, incorporated in 1950. And their headquarters is located here in Castrum City. Doon sa bandang Timog, no? Uh, Edsa, Timog, uh, East Avenue, mga ganun. Something like that. Kitang-kita mo. When you have, uh, when you ride in an MRT, okay? Ito, Fundamental summary niya, 10.3x. Uh, Alright. Uh, is it GMA7 over, overvalued? Hindi. Hindi siya overvalued. Actually, undervalued siya. Uh, undervalued. Kaya that's why it's really time for us to invest sa GMA7. Okay? Now, yeah, ito, these are the earnings and revenue. Grabe, na ba? Oh, cost of revenue nila. 5.2 billion but they earned the, the revenue is 22.45 so okay lang <coughs> gross profit nila 16 billion okay other expenses earning sila 5.2 billion laki din ng, or, ng other expenses na syempre like, papasweldo sila di ba something like that okay uh, December last reported earnings sila December 31 2021 22, 22 pa lang naman ngayon okay ito these are the things ng gross margin nila uh, 75.43%. Okay, may utang din naman pala. Okay, how did the GMA7 perform over the long long term? Tignan natin yung ano, uh, past performance nila. Wow. Okay, so okay lang naman din. Okay? 
past performance. Uh, tignan ko ato valuation. Tignan yung valuation. This is the valuation, guys. This is the valuation about the company. Anyway, uh, this is uh, the valuation that I'm, I'm telling you. Uh, by the way, this is the dividend. Current dividend yield, 9.1. Payout ratio, 94%. Ibig sabihin, uh, yeah, 9.94% uh, payout ratio. Okay, that's GMA 7, pay a reliable dividends. Makikita natin yan later on. Ex-dividend day, uh, four days, uh, four days uh, before you, uh, dapat you should be able to invest uh, on or before April 20. No? That's four days from now. No, and then when you were able to invest, okay, you will be receiving the dividend uh, May 17, 2022. Okay, now that's the payment date. Valuation 50% undervalued. Ito, this is what I'm telling you. No, uh, the current price is 15.92%. The fair value they estimate is uh, 185 pesos per 42. I don't know, but it was. Okay. Yeah. All right. So below fair value, no? Uh the the estimate is 185.42%. So meaning to say, hindi pa niya na reach yung potential niya. So so there is a possibility that this sooner or later this 15.92% would become 185.42. Kasi that's the fair value, diba? But, you know, uh what would happen here is um uh, what if you invested 15.92 per 15.92 uh, pesos okay and then uh imagine mo nag 1 million shares ka dyan, no 1 million shares and then after that okay biglang nag ganito no? so panalo <laughs> huh? all right so below fair value is to be below fair value by more than 20% okay now price to earnings ratio ayan yung numbers okay these are the numbers. Potentially undervalued companies. So oh. discover undervalued companies. Meron, maraming ano yan, ah, undervalued companies. No? Pero okay, isa-isa natin yan, guys. No? Kaya paki, can you please comment there uh, on the comment section kung, kung ano pa yung mga companies or stocks na gusto nyo uh, reviewin natin or makita natin no? based on this Simply Wall Street. Okay? Oh, simply Wall Street, baka naman. <laughs> it is... Okay, this is the future growth. Uh, and this is the 13.1, 13.1% forecasted media industry annual growth earnings. So, you know, what's the problem with the media no? after the election? That's a problem kasi, di ba? Uh, especially if uh, there is a network from the Villar, Villar Group. Okay, Villar Group and then uh, baka biglang mag ano, abs and we really do not know. Okay, so yan ang estimate nila. Anyway, okay, so konti na lang yung growth pala. No? Okay, ito. Ito yung analyst future growth forecast nila. Okay, industry, 13.1%. Uh, yung industry nila. Market, 22.3%. Okay, ito yung forecast uh, or, uh, annual revenue growth. Ito, uh, industry market. So konti lang naman. Okay. Anyway. Ayan, ito yung desired numbers. Ito yung earnings per share growth nila. Okay. Ito yung future return equity. Okay. Ito, high growth companies in the media industry. Ayan. Later ko siguro yung kukunin, titignan. Anyway, uh, past, past performance. Oh, maganda tayo past performance nito except for one. Uh, Growth over the past year, 25.9%, underperformed by the media industry. Yeah. Uh, you write your comment what specific stocks that you are interested with. Okay, so by, by, we will access that using the Simply Wall Street. Okay. Uh, plus earnings growth analysis. Okay, company, this one no? for the past one year. Five years, ito yung one year. Okay. Earnings trends, DMA earnings have grown significantly by 24.8% over the past five years. No? Wow. 
per year to, ah, for the last five years. Okay, so average siguro. Eh. Accelerating growth, GMA 7 earnings growth over the past year, 25.9 percent since its five-year average. Okay, and then earnings versus industry, GMA 7 earnings growth over the past year underperformed the media industry. No? Okay. okay, okay. so return on equity, return on assets, return on capital employed. Okay, discovery strong, uh, strong pa, pa, past performing companies in the media industry. Okay? Gusto ko rin tignan sana to, no? Tignan ko nga to. Wait lang ha. Ayun, uh, inopen ko sa yung tab. Financial health, no? 6 out of 6 galing ha. Liabilities nila, no? Konti lang short term, no? Long term, oh. Hmm, may long term sila eh, no? Na the debt may utang naman talaga. Okay, pero yung in terms of assets, no? Yung net worth nila, no? Okay. Hmm. Debt to equity history and analysis. Okay. Yan. GMA 7 has more cash than its total debt. Reducing debt, uh, yan, kaya naman. Kaya bayaran nila yun, eh, no? Okay, ito yung balance sheet nila. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Galing, galing. Healthy companies in the media industries. Tignan ko nga ito. Okay, so dividend, uh, 9.11% no, yung dividend yield. Ibig sabihin guys, no, yung ibibigay nila versus yung per share. No? Magkano yung price per share. The upcoming dividend payment, no? yan. Four days na lang. If you are interested, try to go, uh, go to your broker na. No? Go to your broker, invest uh, for this company, GMA7. Okay, DM dividend, but it's it's on your it's on your own base, yan guys ah, yeah, notable dividend, uh, yeah. stability and growth and payment they are stable, no? Kasi na dito na since 1950, okay. Ito yung earnings ano, oh, no, paid as dividend 94 percent. Ito ito medyo kakatapat na uto eh, no? Kasi 94 percent of their income is paid as dividend. Okay, so high payout ratio. So may problema din daw yan. Yung cash payout to shareholders, no? cash flow retained. Ito yung cash flow average nila, paid as dividend. Okay lang. Discover strong dividend paying companies. Itong gusto ko. Uh, let me check on that. Okay, management, no? 13.8 years. No? Uh, in, comba in combination, no? siyempre CEO nila, si Atorny Gosson. Okay? Ito yan, no? Uh, Gilberto Duwabit, Pilipi Yalong, uh, ito mga ito, mga ano yan. Si Marisa Flores, oh, News in Public Affairs. Okay, sino pa ba? Hi, Milaya yata, nakita ko dito. Hindi, hindi wala. Yan. Okay, yun yung board members nila. Si Hi, Milaya. Ayun, Hi, Milaya. No? Hi, Milaya. Ano to? Parang education secretary yata in the past. Independent director. Okay? Ayan. Tignan nyo, tenure nyo. Tenure, ah. Tenure niya sa company, no? Wow. Oh, high Milaya, 15.25 uh, years, no? Okay. Artemio Panganiban, independent director. Uh, I believe, ano to eh? Uh, uh, justice, no? In the past. Okay. Ayun. Oh, average nila, 50. So, diversified yan, no? Lalaki, bae, bata. Yan. Uh, 20.3 years average tenure, Okay. So ownership, insider trading, may mga nagbenta, may mga bumili. No? Ayan. Ito yung mga nagbenta. Okay? Ito yung mga nagbenta. Uh, ito Roberto, FLG, FLG Management Development. So grabe, 1 million shares. So, uh, ito sinasabi ko, uh, binenta, max price, binenta nila 13.71. Kailan to? Ano? 2021 pa eh, no? 2021 pa. So, I don't know kung kumita sila doon. No? Hmm. I don't know. Ayan. Tapos, meron ding bumili. Si Jaime Laya nga, no? Uh, value, 445,000. Okay? So, tingnan nyo, guys. Ah, wow, wow, wow. Wow. Bumili siya 8.90, no? Kwentahin nyo na yan, guys, no? 8.90, 50,000 shares. Ngayon, ah, kumita na ito ng ano, eh. Um, sabi mo sabi, 8 pesos. So, 8, time, 8 pesos times 50,000. Ha? Oh, ilang, ilang magkano yun? No? Yung dividend, no? Ha? Ay, sorry, sorry. Ay, yung kita, yung capital, ano? Appreciation. Aside from the dividends. Oh, di ba? 
no? Something like that. Your ownership breakdown. Okay. Ito yung mga top shareholders. Okay. Ano? Tingnan nyo guys. No? Judith Duwabit. Uh, ito yung mga shareholders. No? O sana yung pangalan nyo nandyan. No? Wala. No? Eduardo Santos. Okay. Grabe. Current value. Current value ng ano nila. No? Okay. Judith. 9 point. Million. Million lahat. No? Wow. Ito. 1,000 lang sa Maria de Mesa. Uh, okay. 150,000 shares. No? Kunwari, you have ano, no? 111,000. You can have ano. Wow. Aha. Uh -huh. Yan ang target natin. No? To have um, 10,000 shares para malagay yung pangalan natin dyan. No? Uh -huh. Okay. Pwede. No? Pwede ay GMA. No? So, para malagay yung pangalan natin. <laughs> okay. No? Galing. No? Yan. Huh. Okay, ah, galing ah. Gusto ko yan ah. I like that. Kaya naman eh. 20,000 shares eh. Pwede, pwede. Okay. O, oh, yun oh. 47.8 thousand. Okay. Cor ah, corporate secretary. Ay, kasi shareholders. Ayan. Ay, mga ano naman to eh. Board de ata to eh. Okay, kasi wala naman yata ang posible na mga ano. Ayan, per million na rin. Pero may mga, uh, ano yan. Uh, tignan ko nga ito. Ah, mga ano naman pala. Mga, ay, mga ano. Pero may mga share sila. Ang galing ha. Hmm. Ayan, yung mga camp, uh, ano, location nila, nandyan. Okay, so listings nila GMA7, common stock July 27 listed. Uh, ayan, so this is a good company. No, it's up to you if you would like to to invest. But but ako, I uh, I will be investing on this on this company. Okay, so thank you very much. That's all. Now, if you are interested with this, please do subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Please like mo na rin so that every time we have a video like this, are you are always updated, my friend. All right, that's all for today. Thank you. Thank you very much. Have a great night. Bye-bye. Stay safe, everyone. Bye-bye.